Hi, um, I'm here today and I'm going to be doing another review. Um, the review I'm doing today is of Diplomatico Reserva Exclusiva. Um, this is a rum which a lot of, uh, a lot of um, people asking for reviews on this one out and about. And, you, you know, it seems to be a very popular rum. Um, it's, I can see why when you taste it because it is a very sweet, easy drinking, sipping rum. So basically, I'm going to give, go for a bit of information first of all. Um, first of all, um, Diplomatico Reserva, like I say, comes in a lovely green bottle. Um, sort of old, old sort of medicine-y type green bottles that they used to get on the shelves. Um, you know, you look at, you look at the uh, picture on the bottle here, I don't know if you can see that, but that's um, a picture of uh, Don Juancho Nieto Melendez, which is uh, a, a guy which back in the late 1900s was a very prominent figure in Venezuela. And he is well known for um, traveling the world and collecting um, different liquors and spirits. And not only did he collect them, he had a passion for uh, understanding the techniques and the methods of master distillers around the world and uh, he learned these processes and he came back to, to Venezuela and he had m amassed a massive collection of different spirits and liquors and it was said that he enjoyed nothing more than to to um, let friends and associates sample his collection and talk and discuss it and by all accounts, a lot of um, prominent people in the rum world um, took on a lot of his techniques and, and information that he gave them. So yeah, you know, very uh, interesting guy and obviously had a real passion for his rum and ended up producing such a beauty as this, really. Um, what I'd say to you is, um, Rom Diplomatico is produced uh, by Distillerias Unidas SA in Venezuela. Um, they were set up back in 1950. Um, they also make runs for quite famous um, companies. Uh, they make uh, Cacique Rum, which um, is the number one leading rum in Spain. And Spain being one of the uh, large, or being the largest uh, consumption for rum in Europe, um, they obviously know their stuff. Um, also, they produce Pampero Anniversario for Pamperos. For, for, so, you know, they have certainly got a really great track record and produce such excellent rums. Um, in this rum itself, they use a combination of sugar cane, it's different sugar cane, and um, they extract, uh, it's made with sugar cane honey and molasses and uh, they're fermented for 30 hours uh, and then obviously uh, they're put into the stills and uh, basically 80% of uh, the rums used in exclusive are um, heavy rums which have been produced in um, pot stills and 20% of rums in exclusive are lighter rums which have been um, distilled in column stills. And then it gets put into uh, oak barrels for 12 years for the maturing process. Um, you know, can't really tell you much more what I've been able to find out about the actual history of it. But what I will say is, is let's pour a glass and see how we get on with it. Now straight away, looking at this rum, you've got, if I put it up there, you've got a lovely, lovely bronze sheen to this rum in the glass. And as you swirl it around the glass and you look at it, it's got long, thin tears that are coming down. So it's got very long, thin legs. And um, then you, what I would say about this rum as well is when you first initially, don't just go straight in and start drinking it. Smell it and really take time to get to know it before you drink it because it's got such a lovely, lovely different uh, different aromas to it. You can detect different things in it. 
when you can smell it's got a lovely caramel sugary smell to it and vanilla honey there's oh, it's, it's just a beautiful rum to smell but the, like I say I'm going to take a sip now wow there you go wow again um absolutely amazing now the thing about this rum is i would say is that when you first smell it it offers up such lovely smells that you can detect in there and you think it's just it's amazing really lovely smell lovely aroma to the rum but the best thing of all you take a sip out of it and when you sip this rum it just overwhelms the mouth completely your, your old tongue and gets coated and it is absolutely velvety smooth there is no harsh alcohol flavor to, um, to it you know some rums you get a sip and it's quite you get that real harsh alcohol to it it's none of that at all it's really smooth and um it's amazing it really is and it delivers m so much more than you'd expect it will on flavor considering that the aroma is absolutely amazing um all I'd say is this run here is what well, absolutely bargain price. You're looking. I've shopped around online and I I can get I I can see it. I, you know when I read the reviews to you, I do go onto the net and look around for up to the minute prices so that I can turn around and give you an a, a pretty much accurate price. Best price I could find was on the place that you know I've mentioned in the past. And that was the whiskey exchange, and that was at thirty-seven pounds forty-nine a bottle. Um, you know, if you really hunt it out, you might be lucky enough to get it for a few pence more, cheaper. But I wouldn't have thought so. It's a, they, they do give competitive prices. Um, so yeah, I would say to you, this is one certainly one of the most easiest sippers that I've tried. Um, it, it, I just could not see anybody having this one and enjo not enjoying it 100%. So my name's Andy and I'd like to say enjoy until next time.